everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing off my 2021 reading journal. I did a bullet journal in 2019 and really really loved it and then I just fell off of it completely in 2020. I did have a 2020 reading journal um, but I like literally <laughs> I literally I just kind of stopped doing it and so this year one of my resolutions for like my reading and my channel is to keep on top of my bullet journal maybe I'll do like a six month bullet journal flip through something like that um, I didn't journal on camera because I find it really hard to actually journal with my camera set up like it hurts my back so I figured I would just do a little flip through and explain what I did for each spread and I will say that um, a lot of these are spreads that I took inspiration from other people, so like when this is a spread that I like found somewhere else, I will give credit, um, as much credit as I can to the original creator because I don't want anyone to think that I'm just like taking their work by showing off like kind of what I had copied and put it, putting it on camera, but I did just want to show you what I did. So this is, and I do have, um, a video on a newbie's guide to reading bullet journaling please check it out if you would like that that basically is like a guide containing like what kind of supplies you can get what kind of spreads to make stuff like that that was a really fun video to make i made it like two years ago maybe now at this point um so yeah check it out because i really enjoyed making that and yeah cool so this is the archer and olive a5 dot grid bullet journal and i just love it i just think that the butterfly just like fits with my aesthetic and the lavender it has like this nice cloth cover as well as this string a little pen loop and some little dangly things at the bottom there so because i didn't bullet journal in 2020 like some of these are 2020 wrap-up spreads just because i didn't have a bullet journal for 2020 so let's get into it. So here is just the opening page, with literally my name, and I just put some washi tape. Underneath this is from Paper Geek Go on Etsy, and I just love this galaxy tape so much. I'm just covered up the lines. Okay, so here is my opening page, my reading journal. And I basically had this old book that my dog chewed up, but it's okay, it was a book that I didn't really care about and um i just ripped out a page and like made it rippy around the edges for the aesthetic and then i put in some paper and just said katie's reading journal nice and simple put some washi tape in there again from the same shop on etsy and that was that i just thought it was like a really simple introduction page and i didn't like assign it a year or anything like that since this is technically both 2020 and 2021. So here we have on the next page, books read in 2020, and you'll see that this is a very familiar spread. I think a lot of people have done it, and I, of course, got the inspiration from Journal with Chloe's 2020 bullet journal spread up, spread set up. I will link that below, because that's a great video, and I got so many ideas. However, I don't think I'm going to be doing this spread ever again in my life, because I literally hated drawing the books, and my handwriting is like not that neat, so like you really can't see the titles that well. Also. I didn't re read anywhere close to 100 books in 2020, so we just have this blank page. I think I have like two or three more books to add here, but literally this whole page is blank and it's just sad. I didn't color it in or anything because you can barely read it as it is. So this spread is really nice, but it just didn't work for me personally because of my style. <laughs> so yeah, and then this like holographic tape is from Scotch and I actually wrote books read on a separate piece of paper so I could kind of put it on top of the washi. So now we have my most anticipated releases of 2020. Usually I do this for six months at a time because usually you don't know through the end of the year what books are coming out. However, since 2020 is already over, I could pretty much just, you know, put it here. So because I do a video on this every year, I will link my most anticipated releases of 2020 video if you are so inclined to watch it because there's still some really good books that came out in 2020. And then I fill in this square if I have purchased the book or if I have read it electronically. Um, this isn't like a tracking for me to read it just to see if I've like acquired it at all. Um, it's kind of weird, but that's just, that's just my system. So here we have January, February, March, and all of the stuff that I use to write are the Inkjoy pens from Paper Man, I want to say, like they're like jelly pens. And then this gel pen is the jelly roll pens. And again, I use this washi from Paper Geek Girl. 
or Paper Geek Co. Sorry, I don't know why I said girl. But yeah, so this is it. So you've seen that. I, I read some of my most anticipated, but not all. And I really like to put just the ones that I'm like most, most anticipating and not all of the new releases because I have a separate section each month for the new releases. So yeah, I just did washi tape on the bottom and top to kind of give it some depth and change it up a little bit. So yes. Okay, so here is a spread that I really enjoy and these are my ARCs or advanced reading copies that I got in 2020. And I drew some butterflies at the top and like obviously I love butterflies <laughs> and I just love the way that these came out. I followed a tutorial that I found on Pinterest on how to draw them. They're pretty simple. Um, I of course had to draw them a million times in pencil and then like go over it again and again and erase it because I am horrible. So here I just wrote advanced reading copies and the arcs 2020 because I have two years in this journal. Um, and then I wrote the title, the release date, and the publisher, and then I colored it in once I have read it and submitted a review for it. And this is just a great way for me to keep track of when I submit ARC reviews. I did not, however, include ARCs that I got at ALA and haven't read yet because I'm under no obligation really to read those because they're from a conference, not like directly from the publisher. And there, there are so many, it would take up many pages. And then here we go. There's just a few that I have not finished off for 2020, but overall I did. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself for reading all of the arcs that I have been sent my way, besides these three. Um, and then I did another butterfly here, this little trail, and I love that it connects into this spread. And so this quote says, untangled all the strings around my wings that were tied. And so basically because I knew I didn't have anything more to add, I figured I'd do a quote page here. And this is a quote from my favorite Casey Musgraves songs, which is Butterflies. I highly recommend that you check it out. Obviously there's a theme going on here. Um, but yeah, it's just, I just kind of like changed up the way that I did each font and then like kind of went around the outside for an extra effect. I'm, my like calligraphy isn't that great, but you can always just go on Pinterest and get kind of ideas of how you can change up your handwriting to emphasize different words in a quote and stuff like that, which is what I do when I'm trying to get ideas. Okay, so now here's my net galley spread. I have so many digital galleys from net galley. I I know. I just get a little click crazy, and then I realize I can't read them all. Um, and then I kind of like stopped doing it because I brought the wrong pen with me to my parents' house when I was filling this out. So like it stopped working and my other one that worked that was the same color was at home. But I just alternated the colors, did this little, I guess like green plant spread thing um, and writing in everything. And there are, there are some that are checked off for me. I haven't read them, but there's not many because I said, okay. And then we have this next page, which I will fill. And then if like it ends here, then on this page, I'll do some sort of quote that I guess goes along with the plant theme, but I haven't gotten up to that yet. Okay, so now here's another one that I really love. I did a video spread. So basically I just wrote the title of each video that I posted in 2020 and the date that it went up. And I just think that this is a really good way for me to see kind of all the work that I put into my channel. Um, and to keep track of like what kind of videos I'm posting and the days that I'm posting and stuff like that. I can see my consistency. And last, in my 2019 bullet journal, I had done a video spread where I did it more like a chart. And I think I prefer this way because it just looks a lot cleaner. And kind of what I did for this spread is I looked at this little mini washi tape that I had and I really liked it. So I pulled the colors from the washi tape and use Tombow pens and gel pens and writing pens that fit this color. So a lot of times that I'll do for headers is I'll do it in capitals in Tombow pen, Tombow brush pen on the background and then go over it with the gel pen in this cursive. And it's a really simple way to have some really cool looking titles. So yes, I have that. And then I have more over here. And then because I had another page, I was like, okay, like I guess I'll do something else. So I had seen on Instagram, there's a really cool um, person that uses Tombow pens and I kind of like used some of the illustrations that they had done and the style that they had done. So I kind of did the background first and I didn't outline it. So I had like a softer look and then I went over it in my bubble letters. And then this quote says, I meet myself in the mirror and blossom anew me. And this is a quote from the 17 song, My My, which stands 17. Okay. So yeah, I just really like the way this came out and I like putting the tape in the middle 
um, because it kind of like separated this flower area from the other areas of the quilt page. Okay, so now here starts my 2021 spreads and this I have to give complete credit to Shada Campbell here on YouTube because this is all from their video and I basically copied a tutorial on how to do this cover page and I just absolutely adored it. It is this Dutch door style page and they give like a really, really good description of how to draw this step by step and I really enjoyed following along. Like I could not just like freehand this from my mind. So yeah, I really love the way this came out. I love like the moon and the flowers because those are like two of the kind of symbols that I tend to use a lot in my bullet journal because it's just like what I'm drawn to. And then I put a little 2021 here and then here I did a calendar, pretty simple, just so that I can see all the months of the year. And this was done by just going on Google and looking up the calendars. Okay, so now we move into the 2021 spreads. So here is my 2021 reading goals. I'm just doing the squares and I have set my goal at 75, but I have left enough room that I can expand that 200 if I so get that far. <laughs> we'll see how 2020 turns out, you know, but just a pretty simple page. I use this mermaid tape I got on Etsy. I do not recall the shop, but I really like it. Pink mermaid skills. And then I'm gonna use a gold gel pen and contrasted that with a pink Tombow and you see I use this like font a lot. I kind of have no idea where I got the inspiration for using this font from. I just kind of just kind of went with thinking about like like fonts in Microsoft Word and recreating that with my hands. And then here is just a simple books read spread and so here I'm going to write out the title of every single book that I read this year and there's a square for each space and I enjoy doing it this way so that I can actually see the titles and read them whereas when i was doing the book spread my handwriting is so cramped and messy that it was really hard to see what the titles of the book were and i did two pages of this obviously there will probably be leftover space but i figured more space rather than running out of space so yeah and this is what i did in 2019 and i really liked it and then here we go is my 2021 review. So each month I will write down the number of physical books, audiobooks, ebooks, manga, graphic novel, arc, and then the total. And of course I don't need to like read every single one of those kinds of books a month, but it's cool to keep track of the stats. Again, this is from Journal with Chloe's 2020 setup video. I pulled this book from directly. Really enjoyed that video. Um, I got this cool washi tape on Amazon somewhere but I love just like the simple black and white hearts thing and it goes with the black and white spread that I did here. And then if we flip the page, so Allie from Hardback Quarter has this spreadsheet that she uses every year and you know gives people every year to track their reading and I kind of took some of the like graphs from that spreadsheet and put them in my bullet journal. And then at the end of the year, I can kind of copy from those things on the spreadsheet and put them in here. And the things that I really wanted to keep track of are the genres and the subgenres that I've been reading, the pages that I read each month, and the um, age groups that I am reading each over the year. Actually, this one will be over the year. So it'll be a bar graph. And this one will also be a bar graph. So yeah, that's, this is my cool little statistics page. And it's obviously going to say blank most of the year because this can only really be filled out at the end. Okay, now here is one that I truly enjoy. And this is my 2021 reading goals. I did just post a video about my reading goals for 2021. So please check that out. I got this washi tape on Amazon and I kind of used that as an inspiration for this spread. And then I did this kind of leaf drawn here based on how there's two different color leaves overlapping each other on this tape. Um, and I found out that you can make leaves really simple by put, pressing the tip of a Tombow brush against the paper. And that was life-changing. Now it's so easy to draw leaves. Um, I found that on the Tombow Instagram and it's awesome. So yeah, definitely a look there because it made this illustration really easy. I do like to leave a lot of space in my bullet journal to do like illustrations and quote pages and stuff like that because I find that's where I can be a little bit creative and it's fun kind of finding things to do to put on these pages. Okay, 
And next we have my most anticipated releases for 2021. And I went with the flower theme for this because I had some flower petal washi tape and flower stickers. And here I just put all of the books that I'm really anticipating um, and planning on reading or owning or just like trying to at least read them and probably buying them. So I read them, but yeah. And then here I did this kind of fade ombre effect and I did this using a water pen. If you have Tombow brush pens, definitely invest in the water pen because you can really blend two different colors together and make cool effects, which I really enjoy doing. And then this has another page. It only goes until June and I will make a different spread of this. And um, July once we kind of know like the end of the year releases. And then this is a spread that I pulled directly from Instagram and I've kind of like got this feeling that I can like when I'm doing quote pages I can find interesting and unique words like this one, nefilibada, um, which means a cloud walker, one who lives in the clouds or in their own imagination or dreams and kind of make spreads based off of that and so yeah that's what i found on instagram i'll try and see if i can find the original post and put it underneath here to give credit to the person that did it but please know this is not like my creation from my mind like i copied it from someone on instagram um so yeah uh this is this is it and i did this kind of like fading effect. At first I was using two different colors, but then I realized if I just colored the whole thing and then use an eraser, I could get it to kind of have this faded look at the top. And so yeah, I haven't done any more spreads like this, but this is a theme that I kind of want to reincorporate into my bullet journal in the future. And then here we have arcs. Okay, so the spread is kind of a mess. I drew these little Pikachus and Pichus, but I don't think I like the way that it came out. So I've decided, and I white, whited out this like thing and it just like did doesn't look good but i did write in gel pen in this washi tape which i enjoy so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna print out some like planetary things and put them over the pichu and the pikachu and then probably print out something that says advanced reading copies in the sans serif font and like paste it over this because this just looks bad now at this point um so this the spread needs a little uh recuperation but you know i tried i just I don't know, like, I don't think they look bad, but I just feel like it doesn't fit with the, the theme of this bullet journal. And then we have some just tape here, and then I can write in all the arcs for the year. And now here we have another neck alley spread. I'm gonna try not to go as click crazy on neck alley this year. I just drew some crystals, because I felt like this washi tape gave me crystal vibes. And I will read in all of, and I will write in all the arcs that I am approved for in 2021. Okay, I really like the way this spread came out. Again, like the common theme of pulling from the tape that I'm using, but I just did a video spread, same one that I did in 2020, and I put some stars and moons on either side to match the tape, and I left a blank page on the next one, and I kind of liked the thin, not going all the way across the page look that I had in my 2020 spread for, with the really thin washi tape, so I actually just cut this washi tape in half and did it back. And then again, like if I don't have enough to go onto this page, at the end of the year, I'll turn this into a little page. Okay, and now this spread I got from Brittany the Bibliophile and her setting up her 2021 reading bullet journal. So this is my 21 books to read in 21 spread. Um, it's just kind of like little Polaroid style things and I'll put in pictures of the book covers um, and write the titles underneath and I will be doing this video soon. So I gotta figure out what my 21 books are. I don't have it yet and I just blacked out the page and left, you know, white rectangles and put in some stuff. Okay, and then I really like the way that this spread turned out. This is my fantasy romance books to read spread. I took, again, just like pages from an old book and then put literal brown paper lunch bags over it um, and created this spread. These first 10 are from my fantasy romance books that I want to read video, which I suggest that you check out because I am going to try and read most of them. Um, and one of my goals is to read one fantasy romance book a month because I really enjoy the genre. And there you have it. And yep, that's that. And then I did another page to leave more room to write more books because I can't get enough fantasy romance books. Again, with the old book pages and the brown lunch bag pages. 
Okay, and then the next spread that I did is a Jennifer L. Armentrout backlist because after reading from Blood Nash, I decided I wanted to read everything by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I do have a vlog series where I read her books for the first time. Right now, only one is out, and that's for reading from Blood Nash, Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. But I should have one for the first half of the love series out soon. And so I've written down all of her um, fantasy series. I didn't include anything written by her J. Lynn uh, alter ego, which are just purely romance books. Um, so this is like what I am you know, counting in her backlist and I do want to read most of these. I'm really intrigued by all of these series. This one is about aliens. This one is a spinoff of the alien one. No, this one's a spinoff of the alien one. This one's about gargoyles, I think. And then this one is a spinoff. Vampires, berry hunters, and just an amazingness. And I went with this fall autumn leaf washi because from Blood Nash, I think it has like leaves on the cover or something like that, so it kind of it gave me vibes. And again, with the paper lunch bag as the header. And you know, more room for when Jennifer L. Richard releases more books because you know she releases like three or four books a year. It's insane. And then here I have a page from my books hauled. So far I've only bought one this year, but let's see. My goal is to not go over this page with books that I buy this year. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Okay, and then this is something that's really fun to do. I got this idea from Amanda Rage Lee, and this is a 2021 highlight reel, song of the month. So each month I'm gonna take like a, I figured like a Spotify screenshot, like what the Spotify looks like, and please it here for a song that was my favorite song of the month that I felt like defined the month for me. And so I have the first half of the year here and the second half of the year here. And I can't wait to start filling this out because it's gonna look really cool. So at the end, you're just gonna have like a bunch of Spotify things with this silver tape at the top. Super shiny on camera. Okay, so that was all the setup. I did so many setup spreads, so many. And this is my January cover page. I decided I wanted to do a cover page for each month. And so for January, I got this little calendar sticker in like this planner sticker pack that I found at Target. Really cool, so I'll have one of these each month. And I decided that this month I wanted my theme to kind of be like black, gold, silver sparkles. And then I did this cool little circle-y thing and just kind of like these hanging diamonds from strings. And that's the theme. And okay, so here we are. So this is my January TBR I did upload my January TBR last week, or no, this week. So you can go watch out if you're curious about what I'm going to be reading in January. And then I haven't filled out the new releases yet, but I will fill that out eventually. And again, just kind of kept the same motif here at the top. And again, with writing, and I wrote in this gray Tombow and then did the script in just black pen. And I like that it's simple, but it looks really cool. And then here is a brain dump. So this page is just a page for me to write down any ideas and all of these ideas kind of like circle around my content and stuff like that. So, yep. And then this is my day's red spread. So I used to do them like audio and physical, but I don't really read audiobooks that much anymore, although I'm trying to get back into them. So yeah, just circle color in the little square if I have read that day. And again, I kept the same theme. And then on this side, I did a quote page um, and it says, I'll be your amusement park, which is a song by Bacon. Love the song. And so I literally just found a Pinterest tutorial on how to draw merry-go-round. There were horses here, but they did not look good. So they disappeared. Um, and I think the horses would have made it too busy for you to see the, the quote. And I like that these metallic markers are really, they go over everything. So like they will be the top layer if you use them. And they're just like the Sharpie metallic markers. So yeah. And then here's my book spread. I tend to not do this spread until the end of the month because I like to take the amount of books that I've read and like evenly distribute across book pages. And then something new that I'm doing, like I get this idea from Chloe, is to do a favorite book spread and then kind of also like an aesthetic spread. I am not like well versed in making aesthetics for things, but I'm excited to try. So, 
each month I'm gonna take like my favorite book and then like I guess kind of look up some aesthetics for it, Pinterest pictures and make a collage. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to do that. So I'm excited to do that in the future. Also, can I look how much of my journals are already taken up? Oops, I, like I said, I over break just did a lot of journaling. I think this is like my favorite page. And so yes, that is my journal walkthrough, if you will, for what I have so far. And I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions about anything in the comments below or just like comment if you're journaling this year or anything like that. And have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.